for another five minutes, it should be done. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who've been supporting me and those who watch this for the, my channel for the first time, welcome to my channel, my kitchen and beyond. Today I will be making pampano fish soup. And I know not everybody likes fish soup, but I'm gonna make this anyway. It's, I learned this from my wife. Erna, who is holding the camera, so she doesn't have to cook it anymore. I um, cook it now, so I know it takes a lot of time to clean the fish. So here it is. I chopped it up. I cleaned it up. I'll be showing video clips how I clean it. Um, I'll be adding that video clips in this video. fish really well you have to scrape down the skin like this in order to have the slime taken out and you know the fishy aftertaste out you need to really scrape it out like so see it There's some small scale on it wanted to show how um, I clean this fish. I probably take about an hour, hour and a half just to clean five fish. I really clean it. I really scrape it out like this, as you can see. All right? I just want to show you how I clean it. Okay, I'll show you how I cut it or portion it. There you go, four pieces per fish. So I cleared it as a whole, I scraped it as a whole. Now I'm going to scrape it more uh, <clears throat> with these um, pieces. As you can see, there's still lots of slime and I'm pretty sure of dirt.
the head also. Scrape it real well. So it's all clean up and ready to go. So here's my um, recipe or ingredients. Black pepper, salt, got this uh, green onion for my garden. It's a little bit big, but I like it that way. I get sweet onions. You could use regular yellow onion or white onion, but I prefer sweet onions. Got about eight six to eight cloves of garlic, about two inches of ginger, I got sweet chili, I got about eight to ten uh, tomato. And of course, there's the key ingredients, it's tamarind soup paste. That's the one I'm going to make it sour. Uh, since the tomato is not that sour, this is really going to bring it up to a level that you want it sour. Um, at this point here, it's really up to you how much you add to the soup. So, very nice. so I already chopped half of the um, onions and the garlic and ginger, so I'm going to show how it's, I chop it. So, that's how I chop it, real small. Slice it, be careful, you know, slice your fingers. Yeah, as simple as that. Of course, you could slice it the way you want it, but this is how I learned from my wife. That's her ingredient, so I have to follow. Get the garlic. Just chop it up, not too small, but enough that um, it's not big chunks. And the ginger. So I have five fish, so that's why I have, um, this is how the ingredients for five pampano fish. So I'm going to show how it's, the bed is cut up, it's simple like this. You want to cut it or slice it small as this, you don't want to cut it too big or too small, so I think this is a good size. There you go. So this, that's it, that's the recipe. All right, there's one extra step that I do with the fish. I don't know, I already cleaned it for over an hour here. Uh, that's how I do it. But uh, I already boiled the hot water in my pot here. I'm gonna pour the hot water in the fish. Uh, it will take out the slime, the fishy smell. Of course, we can't take out completely the smell because it's fish, but that's how I do it. They, they, they will take out the, um, the slime. So I will show that um, before the hot water. Okay, I'm pouring the hot water in the fish. So as you can see, uh, it's turning um, different color. Um, there's uh, blood coming out and a slime. You can see from the color of the water. So that's that's how I learned from um, Erna and 
So I do it too because when we eat the fish, we want it less game, um, less fishy flavor as possible. So it is an extra step, but it's worth worth it when we eat the fish. All right, the water is boiling. So what we'll do here is we'll put about a third, a third of everything. Right, so the chili and the green onion will go last. I hear this too. So now we'll start putting the fish. I mean, we can have it boil some more, but it's okay. We'll start adding. By the way, uh, I left the hot water about five minutes or so. Took the Hot water off, then I put cold water. I normally put the heads portions on the bottom. Okay, I'll put salt. Okay, initially I'll put about a, say about um, half a tablespoon. And I'll taste it later. A dash of um, a sprinkle of black pepper. And that's it. We'll put the tamarind soup mix later. So we're gonna cover it. All right, so it's boiling. I will add um, the tamarind soup base and I'll taste it first before I do that. Right, so I'll add more salt. Okay, I will add the tamarind soup base. It's really up to you how much you want to add here because uh, some of you might not want it too sour. But traditionally, uh, people like it sour, so. Of course, not too sour. You don't want to make it too sour, and you don't want to eat it because it's too sour. So, um, once you cook this for the first time, definitely the second time you cook it, you will perfect it the way you want it. 
Looking good. Okay, we'll add the um, sweet peppers. Also the green onions. So at this point, you want to simmer the fish soup, lower the heat, so another five minutes, it should be done. Okay, so here's my um, pampano fish soup. Put some pieces in this bowl. There you go. Okay, I'll try it. It's real good. This is good with um, white rice, perfect with it. By the way, if you hear a dog that is snoring, that's Hippo. Uh, he's the star at my um, short video, so if you haven't, um, visited my short videos, I say 99% of those short videos is hippo, so you might want to check it out. Okay, here it is. This is my wife's version of the um, Pampano fish soup with sweet pepper. So I hope you like this video. Hope you will try it someday. Those of you who like this kind of recipe. So please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment, comment down below. As always, um, my motto is happy cooking, enjoy eating. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, by the way. So thank you for those who have supported me and those who want to support. Thank you very much. Until the next video, See you then. Thank you very much.